Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. Uh, this is going to be the first game in this, first match in this season for uh, Vintage, Ikoria season. Uh, this is my deck. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, uh, I don't want to John here, but something, something kind of big just happened, so I'm, I'm a little... I'm a little shaken. I'm not in the <laughs> probably not in the right state to be playing competitive vintage, complicated deck. But I wait. I've let my opponent wait long enough. So this is a Captain Crunch uh, or Turbo Sisse. It's a combo deck that uses. You, you've seen me play this on the, on the channel before. This is Captain Sisse. Uh, she taps to search your library for a legend or a legendary card. So a legend, uh, and then you uh, put that in your hand, shelf your library. So the idea is that you first want to go and get one of your artifacts, which is, oh, there it is, right at the top, uh, Paradox Engine. So whenever you cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents you control. So you untap Sisse and anything that's making mana, your mana dorks and your uh, mana rocks, so like your Moxen, for instance. And we obviously have a ton of those. Now, the combo usually is, uh, Captain. once you've established that, Captain Sisse goes and gets a bunch of cheap stuff, like, um, <laughs> and Hope of Giripur, uh and Emery, and tries to very quickly establish enough mana that you can go and get Ulamog and cast Ulamog. Uh, otherwise, you just go and play the value mid-range plan. It's like Birthing Pot. It has a tutorable combo, but you can also just win on the mid-range shenanigans. Uh, my opponent is on a main board collector Ufi deck, which is not good. This is four-color Xerox, so it's going to be taking advantage of the advantage that you get off of cards like Arcanist and Mage, building into a huge Sprite Dragon, and then Ufi just as like a catch-all against... Artifacts are a thing in this format, you may have noticed. And this deck doesn't use too, too many of them. Uh, just four. So, other than that, it's it's Xerox. It's gonna have a lot of spells that replace themselves, and interaction, cheap interaction. So, thank you for waiting. All right, cool. So the food token, uh, what Paskey's been doing here is just trying to keep the game from timing us out. Uh, and so, Paskey's been doing some, some quick shenanigans here. Uh, and I've been keeping in touch with Paskey. Uh, Paskey, I'm assuming that that's how it's pronounced. I have... Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, so we're ready to start. We're ready to begin. So both of us are keeping. This is a hand, it's turn one mana dork. It doesn't have any counter magic except for mental misstep, but that's the perfect one to have for this anyway. Uh, mental misstep is going to counter thi- Ready. Ready is going to counter things like Ancestral Recall um, or Mental Misstep on Noble Hierarch. Cool, so we're going to remember how to do this and we're going to... Uh, I told you I was kind of messed up a little bit, so it doesn't really matter which one of these we get. If we look at my deck, we see we have Bayou and... The, and uh, let's see, so Bayou, Savannah, Trop, Tundra. Bayou's the one oddball. Um, if I go in, I can't use Flooded Strand to get Bayou, but other than that, we're good on whatever. So I'm pretty tempted, since my it's open deck list, I'm pretty tempted to go and get uh, Bayou. I'll Windswept Heath. So we're going to crack that. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys later. Uh, long story short, I guess for I'll, I'll give you the, the quick gist of it, is that uh, Evangeling, T1's, uh, let's get a Bayou here instead. That'd be fine. Uh, T1 Stoneforge Mystic uh, broke her collarbone. Not not ideal for sure. Um, and we're gonna do Deathrite Shaman first because I have a ton of fetch lands. Deathrite Shaman is a little awkward in the combo because all right, there we go. Uh, because it can't go off infinitely. End of turn. What you got? Okay, um, she, she broke her collarbone, so, you know, her mom was, um, took her to the hospital. I didn't realize it was broken. I'm gonna attempt to counter this, see if this works. Force of will, pitching, force of negation. Alright, that's good. Alright, um, so, I, I haven't heard from her mom in a bit, so it's a little, it's a little scary. Uh, you got it. Um, so that's that's fine. So I'm, I'm going to try as best I can to keep my head in the game. Uh, no promises, though. No promises. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best, though. Uh, so having Deathrite against the Snapcaster deck, 
makes sense. And this gives me both colors, but I'm primarily black is what I'll end up needing. Okay, that comes in tap. That's fine. Uh, sapphire, do we have a creature? Bull. Ooh. Okay, okay, that, that makes more sense. That makes way more sense. All right, that's fine. So now we can go uh, Hierarch and Man... Ooh. Now, no artifacts or no artifacts in play yet, so if I go... Um, now it doesn't matter because the bayou is already out. All right. Okay. Fetch. Take one. Uh, I'm assuming there's no stifle. <laughs> Wait, it's open deck list. There's no stifle. Okay, cool. Also, my opponent didn't say they had a response. Um. Yeah, let's get this now. Uh, I'm not going to have the ability to play Emery this this turn anyway, um, so we're just going to go uh, you into Noble Hierarch. Hello? Hello? There we go. Alright, cool. That's good. And then you into Mana Vault for lots of mana. Lots and lots and lots of mana. Uh, we're actually going to save the Mana Vault for when we get Paradoxical Engine online. Then I will pass the turn. Right now we don't even really look like a Vintage. I mean, we have Mana Vault, so there... Ooh, okay. I like it. Uh, no response. There we go. Hmm. Alright. So they got there. Oh boy. There's a Mox Ruby. That Mystic Sanctuary is not going to do much, but it's it's there. It's it's fun. It's a thing. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Gonna let that go. Tap in response. All right. Cool. All right. Just gonna move this to the. It's actually in control. Uh, it's under their control, but since they made a clone of it, I'm just gonna keep mine face down. That makes more sense, I suppose. All right. So this might mess us up just a little bit. We can now go. Let's see. Let's look at their list again for any land destruction specifically. They they have strip mine. That's all. Okay. Uh, fair enough. I can go and get Captain Sisse down this turn, and I think now is probably the time. Looking at their deck. Uh, Force of Will is, I think, the only thing that can actually counter her. Um, one, the one middle missed up, obviously. Pyroblast. Um, I do have to worry a little bit about a braid, but I also just kind of need to get the ball rolling on this. So we're gonna we're gonna play this. Tap. Go down. Just a mite. Uh, they're gonna have plenty of chances to go and find removal for for O Captain or Captain. Uh, let's see. So, I guess Tundra... I could get Tundra or Savannah, and I think Tundra's probably better. We have enough green mana as it is. So, we'll we'll keep this. And even if they deal with the Tundra, we're gonna have white regardless. So, let's make them... Let's do a Force of Will check. Uh, here's Captain. And if not, we can try to do something off of Emery. Now, that's good. That resolved. Uh, let's pass the turn. See what our opponent can do. If we get the chance to, if we go off next turn, uh, we're going to try to go get Paradox Engine. See if that works. Uh, although, actually, we don't have the... We don't really have the means to go off just yet. There we go. That's more like it. That's, that's what you expect. <laughs> now, Emery for three mana is not all that great. Um, but, but, we might be able to make it work. So let's draw. Hi, Ulamog. Not where I need you to be, buddy. Not where I need you to be. Alright. Let's try Emery. See what she has to say about all this. Alright, cool. So, Emery, ETB, mill 4. So the way that this is uh, worded here, it's discard. 1, 2... Three, four. Oh, there's Paradox Engine. That's okay, she can get it back. As long as Emery survives, she can get Paradox Engine back. Which is what we're going to try to do next turn. <laughs> going to be t Oh, they're stuck together. Alright. Then... Oh! 
You idiot! You could have attacked. Alright, I'm gonna actually refresh because they're stuck together like that. Alright, there we go. It's more like it. Okay, no, it's fine. It, it ended up working out because they had Snapcaster. Uh, and that would have just traded with Noble. And I need Noble to stick around next turn. So, actually, that ended up working out. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That uh, My win condition is the Mana Vault. <laughs> the Mana Vault. Oh, sh well, that, now we're now we're in trouble. We can't combo. Okay, you gonna attack me? Please attack me. They haven't. You, there it goes. There it goes. Strip mine. Yeah, I think that they're winning this. That they just drowned me in card advantage. It's not impossible that I could win, but ooh. Look at your hand. Now back to me. Now back to your hand. Now back to me. Yeah, this is what happens when you play against the removal heavy deck as a creature deck. Uh, <laughs> Lightning Bolt, a Braid. Deck is really interesting. Deck isn't necessarily the be-all end-all against us because we can go off on a single turn. We can go off on a combo turn. Oh, sorry, swing two. Uh, yeah, take it. It's dimmed out there. Alright, there we go. And then it did. Okay. What do we have? Oko. Oko, no joke. No joke, Oko. Please turn this into... Uh... And it loses all abilities. Nice. Alright. Now what can we do? I mean... It's better than do... Oh wait, we're wrong pile. It's better than doing nothing, but... Jeez. That is not much. At all. At all. All right, we're gonna at least force them to kill the Ashiok first. All right, that's good. And then target. Boop. -doop. Now they only have one Snapcaster Mage, so this doesn't do very much at all, to be honest. But they have Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time, so it's something, potentially. Maybe. Not really. <laughs> uh, kind of just want to poke one of them for one. Uh, combat. At. You. Swing one. There we go. Pass turn. You win 0% of the games where you concede. So I'm, I'm not conceding yet. As dire as it may be. It is very dire. As someone who plays... Who played Oko in the last season and who plays against Oko a decent bit, uh, to be honest, Oko is restriction worthy. I, I don't know that Oko deserves to actually get restricted, but... Alright. Should put me at five. There we go. There we go. Um... Uh, but at least I can see Oko being on the table. Narset, I wasn't sure about, but Narset got the cut. Alright. Game two? Yeah, this is me playing some silly stuff. <laughs> Alright. Play another. Alright, there we go. They beat me to it. Uh, Pasky got that one. This is what I get for playing a silly deck instead of a serious one. Um, <laughs> we're gonna keep the existing deck, keep existing deck, and open. Aha! Okay, they fix. They didn't quite fix. It's not alphabetical order, but oh well. Close enough. Uh, Veil of Summer is the most obvious inclusion of all. It doesn't work on Bolt or Bray, but works on uh, approximately everything else. Um, Thorn gets to go in. Gaddic Teague does. Enough, I think. Gaddic Teague works on enough. It is going to hurt me if I... Oh, boy. Cage is, does not do enough in this matchup. Uh, it, it works on Arcanus and Snapcaster. I don't think it's worthy of being included. Maybe as a one-of. Maybe. Maybe. All right, but, but first let's look through. Uh, my usual... My MO when doing this normally is to take out 
uh, Force of Will, because Force of Will in a fair matchup is generally not all that great. So we take out three Force of Will. Now, let's see, we're going to put Gaddic Teague in. It's hard for me to say, even though it, it hits a card in my deck, it hits a card in my deck. And granted, it's the most important one for the combo other than Captain Sisse. Well, for the, for the combo, it is uh, Engine. Uh, Kethis seems... <sighs> yeah, we keep Kethis in. This is a way to go off if I can't use Paradox Engine. So Keenan gets to stay. Uh, Kunaros can't cast spells from Graveyard, so that's another reason to not worry too much about the cage. Uh, Lavinia is good, um, but not especially great. Um, let's see. Ashiok is probably the next cut. Uh, Ashiok... Hmm... Yeah, sorry Ashiok. Ooh, hello. Not mean to right click. Oh boy. Don't you break on me again. That would not be fun. At all. And then Emery seems important for if they counter something. Because Emery can get it back. If they counter like a paradox engine. <laughs> it's probably not worthy of inclusion, keeping it real. Uh, Hope of Giraper has to stay. Kethis one of the Lavinias, maybe since I am going down on, uh, on Force of Will. Uh, but I'm on the play, so it's probably right to, to keep Lavinia in. She just, she hits so much. Although this isn't the kind of deck that abuses its mana too terribly much. I mean, it won't hit but Moxon. Okay, gotta find one more to cut. I'm not going with 61 cards. Need to find something else. It's hard to do in a tutor based deck though. It's hard to just take out a card. A card. Yeah, it's gonna be one... Oh, wait a minute. No, let's take out Kathis. Let's take out Kathis. That's fine. Oh, this seems wrong. Because it's a creature that... And it survives Bolt. No, we keep her. We keep him. What? What am I even talking about? Alright. One Lavinia down. Just one. We did replace her with a Thorn, so I guess that that's fair. So let's. Uh, sh it already shuffled for me. Draw seven. Oh boy. Oh boy. This hand does negative nothing. Mull. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, what did they say? Keep. Okay. This is not great. Kind of wanted to show the hand first. Oh boy. Ha ha. Well, I mean, yes, we're keeping. Yes, yes indeed. Keep. We are praying. Uh, let's put you on the bottom of the deck. Alright. Here goes nothing. Ready? Let's try that. Make sure that's okay. Uh, what could go wrong? Blue, blue, blue. Alright. Gotta make it happen. Alright. And then, I think it's pretty well implied. <laughs> but it does say target, so just in case. Point to get my mouth. Alright, and then I will draw. Draw. Draw three cards. Alright, cool. Um. See if they have anything to do. So blue, blue is still floating. I, it's fine. Okay, uh, so we're gonna go down a little bit, and we're gonna lose our Lavinia to. All right. So what do I need to get? I need to get Savannah to make this work. So we're getting Savannah. That way I'll have uh, green mana for Noble if I fail this turn. Blue still floating. Alright, no response. Okay, okay. Uh, spin the blue on a Mana Vault. 
become OCD. <laughs> it's fine. And then I will hope that this is enough and pass the turn. Alright, so the rules. They can't cast spells that cost no mana, so no Mox and no Black Lotus. That doesn't hurt them too much. Mental Misstep will have to be cast for mana instead of life. Uh, and then... Ooh! Ooh! Hello? Thinking. Okay, um... It's gotta be naming Captain Sisse. Cool. Let's go. Alright. There's... Uh, we don't have blue mana just yet. So we're gonna play Noble Hierarch. And then we will go to combat. Swing three. I'm assuming since Lavinia's out, they can't do anything. So, you know. If it seems like I'm rushing it, Kind of, a little bit, um, you know, but Lavinia gets to do her thing and says no. So now they can cast about everything in their deck. All right. Resolves. Take your explore. Blue explore. <laughs> Ooh, that's a problem. Thinking. Uh, zero mana blue explore. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, okay. No response. Alright, he's gonna turn Lavinia into an elk, as you do. I would be exceedingly surprised. Maybe Noble Hierarch. Oh, oh we're making a food. Okay. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. There's a land. That's not ideal. Alright. Actually, should I do... Should I use the land first? Oh! Oh, Crypt! That wasn't... That was, a uh, Crypt, not Vault. That's right. Uh... Where's the coin? Oh, wait, wait. There it is. Got it. Oh, hello, you stop that. You stop that. I'm trying to type. You stop that, okay. Heads is safe. Yep, okay. Heads is safe, and then we do it again. Alright. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So... It is Crypt, not Vault. My bad. Ah, uh, like I said, I'm not in. I'm not in the best spot right now. Um, okay. So let's uh, play the land first, so that we're less likely to find the land that we would have. We won't find. We're more likely to find us an actual spell we need. Okay. So we're going to crank it down. Find a card, we'll find a trop, although this doesn't leave us with black mana. Black mana for Deathrite Shaman's ability, uh, and for Kethis is still in, Leovold. I guess I should get by you then, just in case. I am kind of risking it a little bit. Okay. Putting a lot of pressure on this hierarch. Let's see if you get to stick around. <laughs> that's uh, that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. No response. Cool. Duro. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Now we will move to combat. Swing three at 
you? Because we can, we can kill that. Theoretically, anyway, we can, we can kill that. Alright, cool. Faster. Uh, I also don't want them exchanging control, if at all possible. Alright, so they went up one, so that's a 3-3 three, three now. Alright, swinging at me. Guess I should take it, right? Alright. Uh, sure. One, two, three. All right, deck. Do well by me, please. They didn't cast anything. S oh, hi to. Crap, forgot. All right, that's a problem. Okay, let's try something. White. Blue, colorless, to fairy. No response. All right. Um. Hello. I'm working on it. I'm having. I'm struggling, folks. I'm on the struggle bus here. All right. So we're gonna return that to hand. Go up one, and draw a card. Also, not now, buddy. I should have fetched first. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, Jay. You can do this. You can do this. Just hang in there. It's okay. You'll be fine. It's all good. Life is good. We got this. Okay. Alright, I'm going to deal with that menace eventually. At least, that's the hope. And yes, it would have been the same damage if I had attacked with pfft as well. Uh, okay. Uh, thinking... Yeah, let's pass. Let's pass on ahead. Now, they have to... They have to do something about... Now, no, it's a little too late to do anything about Noble. So they're just going to make some life, maybe. Counter magic is done, so they can't do anything now for my for my turn. They're done with that. I'm going to be a little risky here. Uh... Nope, just in case. Because this deals three. I want to keep my life above multiples of three, if possible. Alright. It does mean I could potentially draw the land I would have gotten. Okay, we're safe. Draw. Like that. Just like that. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's what happens, I suppose. I called it. Not meaning to, but I called it. Okay, um, so, I guess we just finish, we just finish her off, finish her, finish him off, so plus, I can play sorceries, the one sorcery in my deck, I can now play at instant speed, interesting, I suppose, uh, we're going to go to combat, hiya, at you. Okay. Alright, here we go. Main two. So now the object of the game is get to the point where we can hard cast this Ulamog. We're actually not even that far away. We're legitimately not. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can we can get to hard cast Ulamog range. And the uh, the trigger here, it, well, it doesn't matter because I have to ferry, but that's a that's a cast trigger. So even if it were to get countered, we get it. Hmm. Okay, seems good. Okay, and then that's on top of the deck. Oh, I'm sorry, that was fetched. So they have it here. Cool. Two explorers. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. To be fair, it is a little bit weird. They put it on top of their deck and then they drew an extra card. So they, they sort of time walked themselves a little bit by making that the next card, but then they took an extra turn. So it's, it works, I guess. 
Okay. So almost every deck in every card in my deck is live now, thanks to oh jeez. Uh Yes, no response. They definite oh jeez, what's happening? Oh plus. Okay, good. Good. Alright. Yeah, they need to filter through the deck. Alright. Let's try this again. I feel like this is gonna miss. It missed. We're intentionally not going to crack it here, not just for the aforementioned reason, but we're actually looking for mana. Alright. There we go. Uh, combat. Four at your planeswalker. All right. Plus to plus. And then... Pass the turn. So we actually get quite a bit more damage. We get an extra point if we don't attack with pfft as well. They're at a virtual 18. What's this? A braid. What are you hitting? Okay. That's fine. That's... Interesting. That's fine. Just don't know about my... Ulamog. They just don't know. <laughs> okay, so what else? What else you got? Oh, we're delving. What do we have? Oh, that's why they did it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Uh, so if I don't draw the land, I'm going to play Lavinia here. What do they have? Bolt? What are we hitting? Teferi. Okay. That's that's fair enough. Oh, there's Lotus. So they have mana. They can do stuff. They can do a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness, they can do stuff. I'm going to lose with all this out on the board. I, I now have zero hate bears left, though. Just a ton of mana. Oh, hi, Oko. All right. Turning, what, that into a creature? Yep, there, that's what we're doing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, RAR. Alright, so we're going to block with... Uh, guess we're doing this. Make sure that's okay with them. Alright, cool. Well, it's down. I'm never gonna not... That's never gonna get old. Alright. This first. Heads. Tails again. Thwarted. Alright, at least... At least... Okay, it's a land. Well, risk it for the biscuit, I guess. Risky business. But again. Okay, no. It's okay, it's okay. What I'm going to end up doing is exiling the Mana Crypt. So, it, it's fine. I'll just exile Oko Mana Crypt and just hope that that gets me there. Uh, but it looks really, really risky here, doing that. Uh, so there's one. And I guess... Uh, Yeah, there's not even another choice in my deck, is there? I don't run basics, do I? Yeah, that's that's gonna be it then. Those are my lands. Let me let me just double check to make sure. This is my list. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's all five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God. <laughs> Thank you. Cast trigger. Uh, in, in case it happened. Now, this does not have. Uh, I really, really need to stress this. This does not have trample. So, uh, 
Target. You? Target. You. Alright. They should both be exiled. Okay. Okay. Pass turn. Bolt. In before bolt. <laughs> In before bolt. Just show me. Just show me, please. In this, in this misery. Okay. No more flips. No more simple flips. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. The two cards. So there's absolutely no way that this Lavinia is not going to resolve, right? Especially since the Ulamog got to resolve last turn. And that I would be dead. Uh, just in case, we're going to do this first. Make sure that's okay. Alert response. We have something. From blue and black. Okay. Okay. It's fine. We're not dead yet. This is countered. Spells you control can't be countered this turn. Do it off of this one. Alright, what you got? Force will. For hard cast force will. <laughs> hard cast force will. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Alright, she's gone too. Banished to the Shadow Realm. Alright. Uh, combat? Swing 12 trigger. Yeah, so the trigger here is uh, defending player exiles the top 20 cards of their library. Uh, and they don't have to block, they can go to three. Rip recall. Oi. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, no blocks. Pass turn. Okay. Bolt. Bolt. GG. Game three? Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Play another. I got that one. Okay, so... I, I didn't dislike how that one went at all. That seemed much better. So, um... Mmm, on the draw, yeah, this is fine. We'll keep it. On the draw, Lavinia is a little less good, but I think we're okay. I, I won on a mold of six, so I'm happy about that. Uh, very, very happy about that. We can go... Kinnan? Kinnan? Kle? Oh, let me pass it over to them real quick. So that's how that works. Um, they get to decide first. I guess they're still sideboarding. Yep, okay. Coffee. All right. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh yeah, sorry, they, they said keep. Um, Risk it. Now, Kinnon effectively represents three mana, because Emerald will make a third mana, so that's that's fine. Okay. Well, now I think we have to go for Kinnon first. It's a little unfortunate, but I think we ought to. I think it's probably right. And then... What the heck? That was weird. Oh, stop! <laughs> stop! 
too close to the edge. Alright. Yeah, so I kind of thought that might be happening, uh, but I didn't really have much of a choice. Uh, I needed to go for some way to develop my board. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I guess the upside is that maybe I'll be able to keep that around for a spell in the future. Maybe. Maybe. Needle. Alright. No response. Captain Sisse. They could get greedy and say Mox Emerald. Better say Captain... <laughs> okay, we, got, we fixed it. We fixed it. Alright. Emerald. That's interesting. I'm actually going to hold on to that. Not play it yet. Pass. Okay. Alright, I don't feel too great about this game, to be honest. This doesn't look like it's going all that well. Didn't get their other color though. They did. This is four color Xerox. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. So, Veil will be on for the rest of the turn. Gain hexproof from blue and black. Cool. Take my emerald. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Do it. Do it. It is blue. Dak is blue. Alright, so we'll draw a card. Drool. Okay. Well. So Dak can't do that next turn. Man. Okay. Man. Well. Mox Opal. Alright. I can cast Narset. And... The way that that interacts with Dak is pretty silly, in a good way. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to resolve a Narset here. Downside is I don't have green mana to hold, to support it. Alright. Add counter. One, two, three. And the way this is worded, look at the top four, you may reveal a non-creature non-land. Which this deck doesn't have too many of, but it has enough. A lot of our mana, after all. Uh, look at the top four. Four cards. Alright. Well, okay, there's exactly one choice here. And then... Oh, wait, what was the... What's the... Bottom in a random order. Uh... That's interesting. How do I... Take these... Randomize them. Look at the top three. Bottom in a random order. How do I... Oh, God. This is what I get for not playing Narset on Untap. Um, so I guess I can put them in a face down pile, right? This is Graveyard, Exile, face down. Okay, how do I do randomness here? Um, how do I shuffle this? I'm working on it. Shuffle. There we go. And then put them on the bottom of the deck. We got there. Took us, but we got there. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Alright, and then uh, cast it from... cast it with the Second Soul Ring mana. Alright. And then pass. Okay. So, um, this is potentially a bit of an issue. Ooh. Bolt targeting Narset. She's done. She's gone. So now they can use Faithless Looting again. Otherwise, that would not have gone well for them. At all. Not at all. And sadly, uh, even the Veil wouldn't have saved her there. Uh-oh. Oh boy, they put back Force of Will. 
I guess that is a two for one in a spot where you're not necessarily all that keen on it. Alright. Time walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Float green, blue. Let's just scoot you over here. You're fine. All right, let's see if this resolves. They did just drop a force of will, so I suspect probably not, but, or I suspect it probably will resolve, I should say. Okay. Trigger? Oh! So this is in response to the cast trigger. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. No response. So now... Okay. Should still untap. thinking. See, what all is in my yard? One, two, I can get back Keenan, and then just try to win on the, the ability. Non-human onto the battlefield. That's quite a bit. Um, or I can try to get back Paradox Engine. Or I could just try to get back Narset. This is because of uh, Kethis, by the way. Exile two legendary cards from your grave. Until end of turn, each legendary card in your graveyard gains. You may play this card from your graveyard. I think that's probably it's probably right, weirdly enough, to get Narset. I'm going to knock myself out of being able to do the combo, but I think I've already knocked myself out because of letting the Pithing Needle resolve. So, first... Oh, wait a minute. I can't cast Narset this turn. So maybe it's right to... Hmm. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, crap. You stop that. Stop that. Why is it... Okay. I, I just need to scoot them further from the edge. That's, that's what I need to do. Next turn. Okay. And make sure we're good before we move on. Alright, he did say no response, so I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, good. Scoot you a little bit away. Alright, and then draw. Hi, Oko. <gasps> Oko! <laughs> oh, that took me a sec. That legitimately took me a second to, to grok how, how silly that would be. Uh, okay. In that case... I think we should do that first. Hmm. Probably. Because I, I can still hold up Veil vale if they try to get a little silly with, uh, with Dak. So, one, two, three... Dak? I mean, Dak. Oko. Okay. Alright. So, Oko starts at 4, we're going to go up to 5, jeez, guess what we're going to target. Alright. Add counter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. Now, sadly, we cannot cast Captain yet, so... Oh, you genius. Should have attacked with Kethis first. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's fine. Wait. Wait. I overpaid. <laughs> CC is floating. <laughs> okay. Well then, I'm a genius. Uh, in that case, 
I guess we get Paradox Engine back. Narset, Kanan. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're going to do. Um. Okay. Activate Kethis. Kethis to Hidden Hand. Kethis to Hidden Hand. Exile you and you. Cast you. Oh, hello. Alright. Ah, uh, still overpaid. Uh, and then we'll we'll pass. I I goofed hard. Should have. Should have cast Kethis first, but I'm all over the place now. Okay, uh, I, I guess that's a thing. Um, and then pass turn. There we go. If Dak tries to take over Paradox Engine, we can use Veil. Try to get there. We can try, at least. Force him to do it. I won't actually get to draw a card, though, if, uh... Oh! So that was correct. They didn't cast a spell yet. Draw a card if an opponent has cast a blue or black spell this turn. They have not. Alright. Let's see if this resolves. No response. Okay. So I don't get to draw. Let's not say we didn't. Ooh, what's this? Oh, no! That's okay. Oh, that's fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Missed my <laughs> trigger. Oh, <laughs> you caught it. Uh, but yeah, Oko's dead, though. Yeah, Oko's dead. Oh, no, it's not a May. Not a May, but it's okay, I missed it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. ruh -ro raggy We're not in bad shape for next turn. I mean, if, if I can win in two turns. If I am allowed to, I can win in two turns. But... That's the thing, if I'm allowed to. It's a pretty big if right now. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. No rod. Okay, so my turn. Take the one, and then draw. Okay. There, that was interesting. Chrome is being interesting on me. Uh, combat. Guess we'll swing for four. Swing four. See how they like the taste of that. Now that we very much can't <laughs> play Sisse, unfortunately. Alright, and then pass the turn. Oops. You're right. Okay. Now, that's good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Probe. I mean, they, they probably guessed what this is. Alright. Alright. Should have asked them targeting. No, I know. I know. Uh, that, that can't... They, that, that's symmetrical. No rod doesn't let players either. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, 
interesting. Okay, that's a 3-3, three -three, all right. We can do this. We can do this. All right, only one right now. All right, I'm one mana shy being able to cast, cast Sisse. So I really don't think it's wise for me to go off right now, to attack right now. But. If I just keep waiting and waiting and waiting, Oko is going to make this go out of control. Uh, wait, why is Oko at four? Um, make sure I'm... Shouldn't Oko be at five? I think? Am I missing something? So Oko comes in at four, plus one, Mox Sapphire. There we go, okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Everyone's a critic here. Um, me included. Forgot his starting low. It seems so weird. <laughs> to be that high. With two pluses. Okay. Uh, but anyway, seriously. Serious time. Um... They're gonna double block, and then I get rid of one elk. Yeah, I'm I'm on the combo plan. I have to win on. Well, how though? How? Okay. I don't have a great deal of ways to deal with the null rod in the main deck. I I elected not to include Vince or Shaper Savant in here. Unfortunately. So, and I, I did not side in Force of Vigor, which would have been interesting to bring in, but because I'm not a deck with, like, Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain, all that, all those shenanigans, I, it's hard to bring in just one copy. But, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Um, so, making a food token? Yep. Alright. About to get really, really out of control. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I found mine. It's only fair, I suppose. Okay. Whale. Alright. Gush. Woo! Lots is happening. Lots, lots of things are happening. Whale, whale, things that I could draw to try to get me out of here. Um, Teferi would bounce one, draw me a card. I can use it to bounce Null Rod. Uh, so, bounce Null Rod, cast Sisse, and then try to go off on the next turn. But they're just going to play the Null Rod back. But then I'd have Sisse in hand, and I could start getting things to, uh, to block, I guess. Alright, so that, they're going to make that into a creature. Alright, draw. That's a thing, at least. At least we're casting spells now. Not made any cheaper, but we're doing something. Not much, but we're doing something. Yeah, it's getting a little silly. We're about to have 12 coming at us in no time. Good God. <laughs> Alright, well, one of Teferi. That would be... That would be a thing. End of turn. Fetch. Okay. Yup. Fair enough. Three other islands. Oh, Time Walk. Ancestral Recall. Okay. With the Oko, I would think that Time Walk would be preferred. Because they could swing, with, swing for 12, turn Null Rod into a creature, swing for 12, and that's lethal, right? Oh, yeah, because, well, it, yeah, swing for 12 again. That would be lethal. Um, yeah. No, it wouldn't. I'm at 19. No, I'm not. I'm at 19. Never mind. Not 18. 
Sprite Dragon. Strictly tastier than Coke Dragon. Also strictly more legal. Alright, so they, they have me at the number. Alright. Uh, by the way, that first ability only, it doesn't matter now, but it only counts on non-creatures. Interestingly enough. Ooh. What's going on here? Okay. Uh. I'm sorry, what's going on? I, I'm missing something. What just happened? Okay. Open up chat for me again. Oko, eight to three. Ah! Oh, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to give it to me. Uh, I guess I should just clone it. Food! Corn, okay, fruit. 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 Hey, there we go. We got there. Eventually, we got there. Alright. They were working on it. Okay. Cool. So, pass to me. Oops. You win 0% of the games you concede, but this is not looking pretty. At all, folks. Not at all. Um... Can force them to lose an elk. Uh. Yep. Where's Teferi? Because I, I can cast Teferi with two mana now. I just need to find him. And I even have Captain Sisse to get Teferi. I just can't cast Captain Sisse. <laughs> this game would be over if I could cast her and then take one turn with her. One turn. That's all I need. But, I can't get there. Boop. And I'm sure that's a grip full of counter magic. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they're gonna take Kethis soon. <laughs> take Kethis next turn, I dare you. Just, just to make me miserable. <laughs> okay, uh... Hello? Alright. Please. Swear on me, Mom. Trade a food token for Kethis. Seems like a good trade. You only lose your Oko. And then you win the game. <laughs> That's all. That's all it takes. Yeah, we're, we're super dead here, but I'm going to keep playing it out. Strip mine. No! You stop me, you jerk. You jerk. No! Alright, uh, trigger. Ancestral recall, right? There it is. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed and I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. Alright. Whew! Okay. Uh, so what's the... Hello? Alright, there we go. Swing three. One, two, three. There we go. Alright. Cool. Cool. Yeah, with Sprite Dragon out, you do want to make sure of it. It's like with Infect. Swinging one. Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, I guess if they try to take control of it, I can always use Veil, but... I, I mean, past turn. Oh no, I can't cast Bail! I can't cast Bail! I can't cast Bail anymore! Oh no! Oh no! Whee! Uh. Bort. I guess. Alright. 
Aha! Okay. Feel all once. Ah. Yeah. You know what? Good game. Now it's not possible for me to win. And how did you sideboard, please? Okay. Islands, Scalding Tarn, Mental Misstep, Ancient Grudge. That's interesting. It is. I was super, super dead. Uh, <laughs> Lightning Bolt, Dread Horde Arcanist. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. So my sideboard was. Let me remove this from play real quick. Okay. Uh. And I can't even complain too much. I saw all three of my veils. And I only had one other sideboard card. So. Wait, no, no, I had two. That's right. I had Thorn as well. And what was the other one? Let's see. Gattic Which hurts me only a tiny little bit. Alright. Let me get all these out of the way. Oh, hello. That doesn't work. So. Scooch all these. And then open my sideboard. How do I open my sideboard? There we go. One, two, three, four, which is interesting, five. I like what you did. Taking out Force of Will is, is tricky. Um, you, you don't want hand disadvantage in a mid... Like, when they're using one card for everything and you're using two. Uh, so Pithy Needle makes a lot of sense. Pyroblast, I am still a bluish deck. Something like 17 blue cards. No Rod is... Oh my god. Same thing with Ancient Grudge. And then Cloth is God of Destiny. Beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile target card from a graveyard if it's a land... That's not the part we care about. Otherwise, you gain two life and it deals two damage to each opponent. It wasn't completely sure how to board. I agree with more Null Rods. 100%. I have to be a mid-range deck otherwise. Thank you. Alright, well, you got me, dude. <laughs> you got me. I, at least I took a game. That was interesting, I suppose. That was, that was kind of neat. It could have been a lot worse. Um, getting back the Paradox Engine, I thought was a, a turning point, but then we, we couldn't find it from there, unfortunately. Uh, Paradox Engine went out, and we got to turn Pithy Needle into a creature with Oko. And then we just couldn't get to Captain Sisse to go off, and then Null Rod happened, so... We were, we were in trouble. <laughs> we were in trouble. Alright, that's it. Um, take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye bye